Boom! Good morning, fam, bam. It's your boy James R. Davis Sr. broadcasting live here at my office, man. What's up, what's up, what's up? Back in the building, man. Hey, man, listen. <laughs> I need to go ahead and open up this gate for my guys. But uh, I'll give Facebook time. In fact, let me go and do this now. Wow. Facebook is building up the audience. What's good, fam? What's good, what's good, what's good? Let's talk about building from scratch, man. Starting over, building from scratch in the MLM space. That's exactly what I had to do. Box truck gang on deck. Chains off. Got to break the chains of life, man. Breaking the chains of life. Breaking the chains of bad habit, bad habits. Breaking the chains. So, any of you know, as of now, that we started building Live Good <laughs> around January. Around January. Around January of this year. Just got my third box truck. Right there. Box truck gang on that. So yeah, man, we we started running in January. Well, I made a decision to run in January. And uh you know, 2020 I made a decision to retire from network marketing and I made it public. The reason why I wanted to record this is because I, of the message message that I got last night. What's going on, Miss Sabrina? How you doing, sis? I got a message last night. Like, dude, you, you back out of retirement? And I started thinking about that. You know what? I did let everybody know that I was in retirement in 2022. I mean, 2020. 2020 came around. I said, listen, I'm done with network marketing. I picked up skill sets that didn't require other people. And, and so I, I, I mastered the trading skill set. Still trade to this day. Shouts out to crypto. Uh, <laughs> still be crushing the markets, man. I decided, you know what? I'm done with network marketing. Made a post about it, made it public. Lots of people commented on that post and said, hey, man, yo, don't do that, bro. The, the industry needs you. You're one of the realest people out here leading the field. Don't do that. And uh, I made a decision to go ahead and do it. And so, what's up, Sabrina? And so, uh, yeah, a lot of people got that message, and uh, I, I did not retrack and retell those people that I'm done back out of retirement. So a lot of those people are discovering that I'm back out of retirement, and uh, by seeing some some posts that I've recently made, and me smashing through these ranks, and uh, yeah, man, I just wanted to let you know you guys know that I am back. I'm back, fully back, fully back, back serving the masses. I have not had this much fun. I got to be honest. I have not had this much fun in 21 years, you know, <laughs> and trust me, I've had some epic times in network marketing, but to be able to start over and some of you know that I was in HBN, right? Still, you know, HBN, I don't really promote it. I haven't promoted it since 2020 when I, when I first joined, uh, 2019, I went, you know, live a little bit. Uh, for about a, about a good year, you know, some of you guys know how hard I can go. Uh, went, went hard for about a good year, laid a good foundation, ranked up, hit hit one of the top ranks in their company, and uh, just kind of settled down and shut up and just took a back seat, let the team run, and uh, was doing my thing. Offline, you know, building offline businesses and so forth. Things that I don't talk about on Facebook. But 
Um, you know, and when I when I when I when I discovered Live Good, who's running Live Good, I said, wait, wait, whoa, what? <laughs> And so I, 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 I um, looked into my inbox messages and found out that I had a message from Ben. Had a, had a message, a couple of messages from Ben in 2021 20, when he was talking about launching Live Good. But I missed those messages, right? So uh, I missed the, the, the very, 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 very beginning, which was last year when they launched Live Good. Uh, last June, June, July, something like that. They didn't launch the marketing system until December. Um, I didn't, I didn't, you know, come across things until around January. Saw Kelly talking about it. I'm like, live good. Okay. Let me look into see what's going on. And the first person I saw was Ben Glinsky. That's all I needed to see. <laughs> That's all I needed to see was Ben Glinsky is back out of retirement. And he started a company and, uh, two things, man, this, this really, 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 really got my attention. You know, the mission of live good and the vision for live good and so the mission when i looked at the mission of live good i looked at you know just to be brutally honest guys i looked at my organization like i looked at my organization and i'm like you know what there's only one person really producing in this business it's only really one person out of all those people that's really making any money whatsoever so I had to really ponder that. Is it the people? Is it the company? Is it the systems? Is it the products? Right? Could be. But be honest, I have nothing bad to say about any company that I've ever represented. I feel like every company I've ever, ever represented has been the absolute best. Right? So I'm not knocking that company. Uh... You know, to be honest with you, it's probably the people. <laughs> Anybody can go into that business and freaking crush it, right? But it wasn't happening. Let's 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 keep it real. It wasn't happening for the most amount of people. And so when I looked at Live Good, being that I'm familiar with the marketing system, which is a power line driven system, I'm familiar with a matrix compensation plan, right? Because we made six figures in one, right? With Ben, ironically. And so being that I was familiar with the system, I'm already knowing that if I'm looking at my business and there's only one person out of all these people making money, if I make an announcement to this team and see who's open to, to maybe pivoting and making a shift, I already know what's going to happen for those people. <laughs> if they're not making money over here, they're probably going to be making money over here. Okay? You have a great day as well. They're probably going to be making money over here because of timing and positioning. And so I knew that. I already knew. I already experienced that. And so that's what I did. You know, I, I reached out to a few of them. I didn't hit my entire organization because, again, you know, it's not, it's not like a lot of people was winning over there. You know, I reached out to a few people said, hey, I'm going to make a move. You might want to take a spot. Take a look at this and see if this is a good fit for you. If not, stay where you're at. Keep rocking, right? So I literally started from scratch. And here's what's crazy. <laughs> when I started looking at to my, to my list of people that I know that I've worked with in the past, right? You know, last time people heard from me, they was like, hey, James out the industry. So, hey, you know, we can go do what we want to do, right? And I salute people for that. But when I looked at my list of people, people that I've worked with in the past, and I started seeking those people out, you know what You know what I found out? They was already in Live Good. <laughs> and a few of them said, wait, 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 you in Live Good? Why you didn't tell me, man? Right? Stay where you at, keep rocking, long as you in, right? Long as you in, let's rock and roll. Don't matter about you being on my team, it don't make no difference. Uh, because if you understand the compensation plan, everybody's on the team, right? When you hit Diamond, everybody's on the team. <laughs> So, man, you know, I'm still in the process right now of having people discover that I'm out of retirement. So I posted in the group last night, man, I'm, I'm really doing people a disservice by not uh, reaching out to more people that I know. I have a very extensive list of people that I know. And, uh, 
that I could be reaching out and letting them know and informing them, hey, I'm back in the industry. And so let this be my public service announcement that yes, I'm back in MLM. Yes, I'm back serving the masses and you know helping people that want more, better health, more income, right? And that's what we're all about. Better health, more income, right? It's, it's just that simple. Those two things, more income and better health that's 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 what we're working with right now and so you know you ain't got to be a salesperson and all that kind of stuff you have to be a person that has a heart for people that cares enough about others right and you're willing to give when you feel like we ain't got nothing to give see sometimes it's about giving your time with individuals especially if you have more experience in something than they do and i've been in the game now 21 years been 18 years full time now Right. And so trust me, I have plenty of experience in this in this game and I know how to build a business in network marketing. And so live good has made it so much fun, so much easier for us to build. And here's what I'm noticing that is really going to shake the industry up. The retention level, the retention here in live good is through the roof. And that's what's going to shake up this industry. Not to mention the systems, the products, the whole model, the way that the model was set up. But that retention is going to shake up, going to shake a lot of folk up because that's what 100% of all of us, if we're in, the, if we're in the direct sales and network marketing space, we have this one thing in common, and that's residual income. We're looking to build something solid for a few years that will pay us literally for years, years, month after month, year after year after year. Live good. <laughs> Live Good is rewriting the history books when it comes to that right there alone. That and duplication. We've never seen any duplication like this ever in the industry. The numbers don't lie. We ain't got to hype it all up. The numbers are speaking for themselves. Two, three thousand people a day are joining this business. Over 250,000 people have joined us in five months. In five months, folks, this is our fourth month. We started in January. And what's crazy is we've hit a rank every single month that we've been in the business. This is our fourth month. So we're running up on our fourth rank, which is platinum. And I'm telling you guys, I can't hit platinum by myself. I can't hit gold by myself. It takes a team of people. And that's why I'm having so much fun because it's so much fun watching you guys Come on board, right? $50 one time fee, $10 of $9.95 a month, and you're freaking crushing it. I'm seeing people that, that don't have no experience in network marketing win. I'm seeing people that have never had success in network marketing come over here and sponsor two, three, four, five, six, seven people. They've never been able to sponsor anybody in anything. And so that's why. We're having so much fun. That's why we're having so much duplication. And that's why we're having one of, we're gonna have the highest retention rate in the industry that the industry has ever seen. And again, many of you that know me, y'all know, I don't do no, I don't do all that hype shit. Fuck all that hype, man. Fuck all that hype. I'm talking about real numbers here. I'm talking about real people with real lives making real shit happen. So, um, this, let this be my invitation as well. All right, let this be my announcement that yeah, I'm back out of retirement. Okay, and my invitation for many of you that I've worked with in the past, for many of you that have been reaching out saying, "Hey, you back out of retirement?" Listen, listen. You might want to take a look at that Ben video, <laughs> that five minute and fifty five second Ben video. Watch it. I have a 51% conversion rate of people who've actually watched that video and taken a free tour, submitted their information, and got a free back office. They're locking in with Live Good. It is what it is. I'm just saying, man. I'm going to get in here and grind. <laughs> I see my crew is showing up. So listen, I love you guys. I will talk to y'all soon. Get with your boy. Listen, this is my last run in the network marketing space. This is it. I'm not doing anything else in the network marketing industry, period. I found my niche, which is health and wellness, over 11 years, about 12 years ago, 
with being ironically i found it man this is where the money is at it, it, you know i dibbled and dabbled in services and so forth but now when i got into products broke through the six figure ring helped other people get the six figure ring and so the niche of health and wellness is that's where the money is at and now that we have the perfect business model for it oh yeah i'm done this is it for me so i'm looking to run for the next five ten years 15 20 years with live good build a nice huge solid residual income base guys can you can you imagine being first in amway can you imagine being first in what's in a, mary Kay? can you can you imagine being first in prepaid legal right can you imagine being first in shapley first in new skin international all the legendary companies in this industry that got started years ago that's what we are here in live good again can you imagine being first what's going on leela can you imagine being first being first in new skin international can you imagine being one of the first wave of leaders in amway when they got started can you imagine being one of the first wave of leaders that got started with prepaid legal? See, these are legendary companies that's been around 20 plus years. Do you know what that means? People in these companies got started back then. They built the team for four, five, six, seven, eight years, and they're continuing to get paid month after month, year after year. That's called residual income, folks. And I'm telling you right now, the numbers don't lie. We will have the highest retention rate in the industry. Retention equals residual money. Okay, for those that don't know, for those that are in the back. Retention equals residual income. And, 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 and man, you know what's magical? I'm watching people, I'm watching people's residual income build straight out of the gate. Some of them aren't even really building yet. But their residual incomes have surpassed the monthly cost, which is $9.95. That's pretty insane. Think, think about what I just said. Listen to what I just said. We've only been here four months. This team, right? This team, since January 17th. There are people on my team, right, that have not, they're not really building yet, but their residual incomes have surpassed their monthly membership. Dwarfed it fucking dwarfed it you don't believe me scroll down on, the, on my profile a few posts and you'll see about i think i highlighted three young ladies one of them has sponsored one person the other two nobody but because they took a fucking spot <laughs> because they took a spot when i said move i said listen you might want to move on this they moved and because they got in position all of them, all of their residuals is over a hundred damn dollars a month. Ooh, man, two of them was in my previous business. They wasn't making money. See, that's why we're having so much fun. Because people are finally winning and they're proud of to represent these affordable, high quality products. See, if you're in the health and wellness space and you still buying these super duper fruper packs you know the super duper fruper packs y'all know those the 1500 dollars super duper fruper packs the two three hundred dollar auto ships if you're in those kind of kind of companies you're in trouble just saying <laughs> what's up Lila? yeah it's amazing for sure you're in trouble if you're in a if you're in a health and wellness company and you're and you're and you're overcharging your friends and your family members sixty dollars, eighty dollars, a hundred damn dollars a month, right? <laughs> hey, if you're a leader, if you're a leader, and you know me, and you know like you know me, you might want to take a look at Live Good. Not not throwing no shade. I got love for this industry. I hope. Everybody wins in network marketing, right? The fact that we're going up against the industry in network marketing is like, eh, I don't know if I want to do that. <laughs> I love this space, right? But at the same time, 
I've always been the underdog, man. I've always defeated the odds, right? Spent 10 fucking years in prison. Eight, 10 years, 8 months in prison. Came out and done crushed it. Done fucking crushed it. Some of y'all been out here your whole damn lives and you still living in mediocrity. Hey, no judgment from me, but I'm just saying, I've been crushing it. Because I understand the laws of the universe. I understand that you can get any fucking thing you want this on, on, on this planet. If you're here, if you're fortunate to be here on this, on this planet, experiencing this experience... Man, I'm telling you, you got the ability to, to, to achieve whatever the fuck you want to achieve if you put your mind to it. And that's what we're doing, folks. We're showing, we're giving people a way to actually achieve real optimal health, real wealth. Here we live good. And finally, somebody has done it right. And that's my buddy Ben Glinsky. Shouts out to Ben, man. Man, we had so many... So many moments together, right, <laughs> in the last company. So many incredible moments together with Ben Glinsky. Man, and we doing it all over again here in Live Good. And listen, I ain't got to be the damn face. Many of you know in SBC, I stayed on stage at every fucking event. Every event. I was in the training manual. You know, I was always doing things. Like, I did the Oh Wow calls every single day for seven years straight built up leadership team around me to do the call for me in my absence they continued the call for years see that's what it's all about it's not about me folks it's about developing leaders right leadership leadership development that's what this industry is all about right helping people get out of their damn comfort zones out of their places of mediocrity so many of you guys have told me, I'm so sick and tired of this. I'm tired of working. I'm tired. Listen, somebody showed up yesterday at my house for our middle daughter, right? She was dropping off some stuff, um, some gifts, basically, uh, because, catch this. I need y'all to listen to this. She was at the house yesterday dropping off some stuff to my middle daughter because she hit, she, she, I it seemed like she was glad to see it. I don't know if she had something else going on or what, but here's where she came to, to the house to, to, to tell us. She was being fired, right? Her company was letting her go. Out the blue, no warning, right? And the company has, was saying, listen, y'all can take whatever y'all want and just give it away. And she was just giving, you know, our middle daughter some stuff. But she said something, you know, that just really just triggered me. It's like, wait, what? She's like, I was let go. I'm going to tell you guys something. If you guys don't have passive money working for you and residual money working for you, if your job ain't safe. Your job is not safe. Some of you are about to experience some crucial financial hardships because you got your fucking head stuck in the sand and you ain't paying attention to what the banks are doing, what the monetary system is. Y'all know some of the stuff I was talking about, 2017, all the shit that's been happening, that's been manifesting, that y'all been telling me, hey, man, you must be a goddamn prophet. How you know they was going to come out with a damn uh, virus? How you know they was going to do this? How you know the banking system was going to collapse? How you know the inflation rate was going to go through the damn road? How you know all this shit, bro? Some of y'all been having y'all heads stuck in the sand. Now some of the things that I was talking about back then are starting to manifest themselves right before your very fucking eyes. And some of y'all got your heads in the sand and you ain't paying attention. And you're going to be the first one that's going to get hurt. Because you don't understand what's happening right now. You don't understand that you need, to, you need to get as much money as you possibly can and secure your money. Look at the news. Look at what they're talking about. <laughs> I've tried to prepare you guys for this very moment. And the fact that Live Good is... In this season, and I'm back out of retirement, in my mode, watching you guys win right now, oh, it's a beautiful moment right now. It's a beautiful moment in time right now. It's a beautiful moment in history right now, man. I'm telling you, opportunities don't go away, but they'll pass your lazy ass by. So will. I, listen to what I just said. Opportunities, they don't go away, but they will pass your punk ass by if you ain't ready to receive it. <laughs> and some of y'all keep missing out on opportunities. That's why your ass is poor. Passing over opportunities repeatedly. That's why you're fucking poor. You're choosing to be broke. You're choosing to be poor.
because you're ignoring opportunities. Many of you have, 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 have voiced it to me. I, that's why I can speak on it with passion. Many of you have told me, man, I'm struggling. I'm this, I'm that. Okay, here's the solution for you then. Crickets. You don't do shit about it. <laughs> for the life of me, how? How, Sway? How? And y'all watching me help other people win. Friends, family members. Out here winning with fucking strangers that's becoming friends, ultimately becoming family members. But y'all still sitting there struggling and watching and fat and overweight and high blood pressure and, and all this old crazy shit. Ah, those, those, that's a pyramid scheme. Really? No, this ain't corporate America, boo-boo. This ain't the corporate America structure, boo-boo. Break room ass, nigga. <laughs> I'm just saying. I know I'm stepping on some toes right now. Some of y'all, hey, listen, get the fuck over it. Get over it. I'm a different kind of mentor, man. I'm a different kind of leader. I'm going to tell your ass the fucking truth. And I'm going to use a few choice words along with it. That may offend you. It's okay. Get over it, goddammit. Because I'm going to tell you something. When this United States government make the switch on y'all asses, <laughs> you're going to remember James tried to warn us. He showed fucking sick. <laughs> oh, y'all thought I was just trying to get y'all into something, right? You thought I was trying to get you into something. No, I truly fucking care about my people, man. For real. For fucking real. Ask some of the leaders that I've traveled on my goddamn dime. I spent my fucking money to come serve. I'm the truth. I ain't gotta, I ain't gotta, I ain't gotta, I ain't gotta brag on that shit. So, yeah, let this be my official announcement. I'm back. I'm back, baby, for sure. Okay? So, if you wanna, hey, listen. Don't even don't don't hit me up if you ain't trying to make six figures, six seven figures. I'm looking for leaders that want to make six and seven figures a month, not a year, a month. God damn it, a month. Some of y'all thinking too fucking small. Some of y'all let forty thousand a year, sixty thousand a year, hundred thousand a year keep your ass from a hundred thousand a month, forty thousand a month. Some of y'all let that bullshit keep you stuck. You know what's gonna happen? AI hey, gonna replace your ass. Don't say I didn't warn you. Some of y'all think y'all safe because you got a good job. Okay. <laughs> you can't tell that young lady that showed up in my house yesterday that she was safe because she had a good job. Showed up like, oh my God, I've been fired. She ain't, she ain't come with enthusiasm, but it just seemed like she was like 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 happy about it, but at the same time kind of pissed off about it because she wasn't expecting it. And some of you are about to experience the same damn thing because you ain't understanding the laws of the universe. You ain't understand the laws of the universe. Opportunities don't go away. They will pass you by, my friend. You, 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 my friend. <laughs> and they'll go on to somebody else who's ready for that opportunity like many people have in my business it's been a pleasure man to build with each and every one of you that I have not built with in the past I'm building a whole new squad right now you know what's crazy I got people that have worked with me in the past that have been just reaching out congratulating and all this whole kind of stuff right some of you have told me man look I need a change but you still ain't did nothing yet what you what are you waiting it's only 50 fucking dollars $50 to start a business. Boom! You just gave yourself a pay raise on your job without asking your boss. Ha! Number two. Now you can write off all them damn taxes. All your expense, most of your expense, some of the expenses that you got, that you spend money on anyway, the bullshit you spend money on right now anyway, that you're not able to write off, you can write off a lot of those things. That's a second free game tip. Third. You can start generating extra income when you want to. <coughs> you know what I love about network marketing? I just got a goddamn pay raise. I just literally doubled my income potential in my matrix alone. 
when I was in corporate America, I couldn't do that. I couldn't decide. I want. Do I feel like getting a raise today? Hmm. Boss, let me get that. Let me get that. Four about five dollar raise. Y'all, first of all, y'all know that shit ain't happening. Point zero point seven something, zero point five some percent raise, fifty cent raise for your ass, James. Here you go, buddy. <laughs> and some of y'all celebrate that shit. Listen, I'm not. Again, I'm not knocking. I'm not knocking, not hating. I'm just trying to give you guys some real options here. Some real fucking options here, okay? So listen, I think I've ramped and raved on enough. The crew is here, they, 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 they're getting it in. They're ready to rock and roll. And so, uh, yeah, man, we're finna get this work in. <laughs> we're finna get this work in, man. Yeah, man. Hey, live good, man. Listen, I have not had this much fun in my 21 year career of network marketing. And you know what makes it extremely fun? People are finally winning and they're proud about it. They're proud about it, man. So let me check out some of these comments real quick. 3% <laughs> if you're lucky. Yes, you are the truth, period. Get over it, I love it. Shouts out to my girl, Leela, man. Leela out here crushing it. Y man, y'all follow Leela, man. Leela, she gets it. Leela gets it. Yeah, Leela gets it. She was, well, I think she's one of the ones I reached out to was on the previous team, right? And let's be honest, Leela, you weren't really making no money in that company, was you? At, no, no. Come over here, boom, making money. Boom, getting duplication. Boom, ranking up, right? See, 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 it don't take a rocket science scientist to figure that thing out. Because I was familiar, I was familiar with the system, I knew that if people trusted me, and people like me, trust me, they'll do business with me. Tip, tip for those of you out here struggling to rank up. <laughs> Blows me away. And people like you, trust you, they'll do business with you. See, she trusted me. She made a move. And because of that, she, she tells me on a regular basis, man, this is the most fun I've ever had. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So that makes me proud, man. And not she's ain't she's not the only one. It's been several of you that have, that tell me on a regular basis, man. I'm so jacked about this business, and I'm excited about that. So if you're looking for an opportunity, folks, listen, man. This ain't the one to play with. This ain't the one you want to scratch your head about. Well, let me go pray about it. God didn't already answer your prayer. If you're seeing this, God didn't answer your prayers. See, the problem with some of you, that blessing, it does not come in the form in which you thought it would come in. <laughs> Let that marinate for a second So you miss it It literally it passes you by Because it's not in the shape of Overalls and an interview And a job application That's all some of y'all know <laughs> And that's a sin and a shame That's a sin and a shame Because all some of y'all know is a job application And an interview huh. And it, it, you just miss it You miss it It goes over your head man so I'm praying that you guys get that third eye, that, that God blesses you with that third fucking eye so you can start seeing what masses of people don't see before they actually see it. Did y'all just get that? See, everybody that's in Live Good right now, we're visionaries, we're pioneers. We see something way before the masses see it. And then y'all know how y'all know how y'all do. The, I'm talking to the masses right now. Y'all know how y'all do, right? Y'all monkey see, monkey do. Y'all when everybody else on it, then you get on it. You get your copycat ass. You get your monkey see, monkey do ass on it. Woohoo! When you could have been in the beginning, and you could have been filthy fucking rich. But because you're taught to be a consumer and not an owner, a consumer and not an owner, you you miss it. You completely miss it. And you always that person talking about more info. More info. Ooh, oh my God. More info. More info. More info. But you never do shit with the info. <laughs> oh my God. I'm just I'm picking now. I'm picking. Cause some of y'all be getting on my nerves, man. You be blowing up my inboxes. Like, come on. Hey, let me get that link. Like, damn, I sent you the link five weeks ago. 
Twice. You already asked for it twice. What the fuck you waiting on, Dodo? <laughs> anyway, let me stop. <laughs> Good morning, Kamisha. What's going on, man? Mo info ass, look at ass, folk, man. Kamisha, I know you know about the Mo info look at ass folk, right? They, 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 they so fucking hilarious, man. Won't take at fifty dollars. Fifty dollars. Fifty dollars. I got folk telling me I'll do it next Friday. Yeah. They ought to piss you the fuck off. If you ain't got fifty dollars, you gotta wait all the way to next Friday to do anything with your life. That's a goddamn problem, man. Wait till next Friday. What? <laughs> if it was me, knowing what I know now, something in my house would be pawned like a motherfucker. I'd be at Cash Pawn America ASAP. Getting that goddamn 50. Shit. Because y'all ain't gonna never be in a position to ever have to say that bullshit again. Wait till next Friday. $50? $50. Two $20 bills and a 10. <laughs> really, it's $40 one time to start the business. $40, man. $40 fucking dollars. You gotta wait till next Friday for $40 fucking dollars to put yourself in a position to win. $40 fucking dollars. Plus $9.95. $49.95, one time, $9.95 a month. You don't mean to tell me you ain't got that? <laughs> Woo. Help them, Lord. Help them, Lord. Help them, Lord. If they need help, type the number seven, guys, if you're in agreement with that. Type the number seven below. Help them, Lord, right now. Help them, Lord. Help them with their fucking mindset. If they ain't broke. They ain't broke financially. They're broke in their minds. They're broke in their fucking minds. How? How? How you let that come out of your mouth to somebody like me? I'm going to wait. I, I'm going to do it next Friday. And if that's you, if I'm on your street, listen. Li li let me help you out. Because see, see, some of y'all get turned off by them. Like, I ain't working with him. <laughs> and stay stuck and broke. Stay fucking struggling. Stay goddamn it right there where you at. Instead of saying, you know what? That shit hurt, bro. But you know what? You right. You fucking right. I'm still stuck in this situation. Still talking about next Friday for 50 goddamn dollars. Wow. <laughs> if I'm on your street, say, ouch, get the fuck over it. Allow us to help you, goddammit. Some of y'all pride and ego is in the way. Never be too ashamed to say I'm broke. I'm struggling. I need help. <laughs> some of y'all that get, some of y'all that done let social media just totally fuck your mind up. Like you gotta tell social media every goddamn thing. Tell them the truth. Tell them you fucking broke. Tell them you struggling. Tell them you pass over opportunities all the time. Tell them you an info whore. I'm, com I'm perplexed, but I'm having the most fun in my life right now because I'm, listen, my posture game is off the chain right now. Can't nobody tell me shit about live good. I got people making money that ain't doing shit. And I'm matching their checks. What? I got people finally winning, finally, emotionally fucking winning. Can't fucking believe it. <laughs> All because they made a decision and they invested their damn $50. You know, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Stop playing with this, man. Stop playing with me. Right? I ain't the one to play with out here. Man, we... we y'all better Some of y'all better check my track record when it comes to helping people become successful. So, let this be my official back out of retirement, back in the MLM, announcement because i'm discovering that some of you still ain't learned and i'm back yet my bad my bad my bad trust me i'm gonna get to you i'm gonna reach out to you so a lot of y'all ain't reached out to yet like that message fucked me up last night like, like bro you back in the mlm oh my god i was like wait a minute where you get that then i had to think about it like damn i did tell everybody i was retired in this shit because i picked up trading got sick of folk sick of y'all info whores 
Start trading the markets. I don't need you info whores no more. I can make as much money as I want to make. Still to this day. I trade, I've been trading this morning. <laughs> oh my God. Anyway, that's a whole nother conversation. Anyway, so this includes other people. And and, and, and and to be able to empower the people, that's some of the really shit you can do for people, guys. Is put people on a real way to make some real goddamn money. The way some of y'all repel from the industry, it blows me away. You the main fucking one needed. Some of y'all will be the main ones that need this shit and you'll be running from it. But you always reaching out like, give me the more info, don't give me the info. Oh boy. <laughs> shit is hilarious, man. Shit is fucking hilarious. So listen, if I'm on your street, man, say ouch, get over it, let's rock and roll, right? Cause we, listen, 50 grand a month or better. 50 grand a month or more. We, I, ain't, I ain't running out to nothing else. I don't even need the goddamn money. Like, we good. Me and my wife, we good, man. We got shit offline we ain't, that we don't talk about on Facebook that we got going on. We don't need this shit. I do this shit because I, I, I care about my people. I do this shit because I want to do this shit. I do this shit because I love it. I love seeing you guys win. I love seeing a single mom come on here struggling, right? Check the check. Come on here. Get involved. Rank up. Duplicate. Build a business and fucking win. I love that shit. I love it. <laughs> I love it. And I'm doing it with a whole new group of people. So if you know me, if you work with me in the past and you ain't in live good yet, why? Why? <laughs> Whatever you're doing, if you're in another company, keep rocking, keep crushing it. If you're in another health and wellness company, oh, you in trouble. You, you, yeah. If you're in a health and, if you, if you know me and you work with me in the past and you in another health and wellness company, your downline finna come over here, boo boo. Your whole fucking team gonna be over here before, in, in, I guarantee in the next six months, some of y'all gonna regret that you did not take action. And some of y'all reached out to me weeks ago. Weeks ago. <laughs> and guess what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna rub it in your fucking face too. Yep, yep, yep. I'm gonna rub it in your goddamn face. When we hit diamond. When we, when we hit diamond. Not if. Y'all check my words now. Tip, tip. When we hit diamond, goddammit. When. Type that shit below. When we hit diamond. Ain't no fucking if. God damn it. See, that's what you don't understand about the laws of the universe, man. When you make a decision to do something in life, the world conspires to operate within that purpose and manifest. But you got to keep the goddamn appointment. That's all you got to do is keep the appointment, put it into work daily that's conducive to what you say you want. People always say, James, how you do this? How you, how, how, how you do 10 years, 8 months in prison, come out and crush it. Every fucking thing you touch, you goddamn it, crush it, bro. That's how. I understand the laws of the universe. When you, when you see it, if you can see it, goddamn it, you can go get it. See it, write it down, do things daily that's conducive to what you say you want. Look at it every day, every fucking day, every goddamn day. Some of y'all ain't consistent. <laughs> <laughs> you got more goddamn excuses than consistency, goddammit. Yeah, that's why you ain't successful. It's easy to get what you want in this life. When we hit diamond, I'm a rubbing in your motherfucking faces. I swear to God I am. Humbly. I know God can giveth and he can taketh. Especially if you're doing shit in the wrong spirit. I ain't doing it in that spirit. I'm doing it in the spirit that, man, your ass could have... But you didn't. Somebody else got your spot. See, the only way I'm going to hit diamond, other people got to win too. Could have been you. That's why I'm going to rub it in your faces, man. I ain't going to do it the way some of y'all do it. Like, you, you document everything. What you eating, what what color the fork is, what color your panties is, where you at, who you with. I, I, fuck, all, fuck all that shit. Y'all just attention whores. That do that type of shit. Whole nother conversation. No, not gonna do it. Not gonna do that. But when we hit diamond, watch this timeline, man. Some of y'all don't understand the money that comes along with that. Some of y'all don't understand the money that comes along with gold and silver. When you got a growing duplicatable team, that's extra money, folks. Extra money. Shouts out to Kelly that I'm thinking about right now. School teacher, right? School teacher. How many of you guys are school teachers in Memphis? Memphis homies, homegirls? 
A lot of my homegirls in Memphis, a lot of y'all teachers, punk ass fifty thousand dollars a year, punk ass sixty, seventy grand a year. That's all you worth, huh? That's all you worth. I feel if you teach our badass kids out in this day and age, you deserve six figures on top. Fuck you talking about thirty grand a year to teach these badass kids? Got me fucked up. 40 grand a year, 50 grand. Shit, you need to be making that shit a month. Shouts out to Kelly Toller, who's doing that. She just resigned from her teaching job. She loves teaching, loves the kids. But my God, they ain't paying y'all shit. <laughs> they ain't paying y'all shit. Come on, man. Shouts out to Kelly, who's become an example that school teachers, school teachers, who I hold up in high esteem, high respect, I got a lot of respect for teachers, but they ain't paying y'all shit. <laughs> My God, don't you want to get paid what you're worth? That's what network marketing is all about, guys. Just being a tool to get what you want because the current tool that you're utilizing, your job, it's not getting you there. It's not getting you to the point where you where you want to get over there to hump. And, and plus, on top of that, you gotta trade your goddamn time for it. You gotta do. You gotta go linear just to get the shit. So if you don't show up for work, you don't get paid. That's a problem. I've been preaching that shit for 21 years. Some of y'all ain't got that yet. You ain't got passive money coming in yet. You ain't got residual money coming in yet. Meaning, do the work once, continue to get paid. Meaning, build a team. Earn in spite of what you do, whether you're at work or not, whether you're on vacation or not, whether you're sleeping or not. Sleep money. Somebody type sleep money below. Sleep money. Some of y'all need to get that. I'm telling you, when you experience it, the moment you experience sleep money, you're going to have the same passion that I got, if not more. Because <laughs> it's, it's, it hits you different, man. When money comes in, see, I got several streams of income not multiple fucking auto ships of income some of y'all know what i'm talking about some of y'all talk, talking about i got multiple streams and no the fuck you don't boo boo no you got multiple trickles you ain't got no goddamn streams you got to create a stream first before you start going multiple you got multiple network marketing company multiple fucking auto that ain't multiple streams of goddamn income dodo <laughs> Multiple streams of income is within your one business. If you understand it, if you build, if you build your one goddamn business, you will have multiple streams within that business. Because every time you sponsor somebody, that's a stream, right? Sponsor another person, that's a stream. Sponsor another person, that's a stream. Some of y'all got this shit fucked up. You got a, a $55 a month auto ship over here, or $125 CBD auto ship over here, and, a, and I got so that I got multiple streams, James. No, the fuck you don't. No, you don't. You ain't even making enough money to even pay for the damn auto ship. So stop it. Stop it with the fucking multiple streams of income shit in MLM. You got multiple trickles. No, multiple streams, goddammit. It's taking your job money to fund your business. Right? First, you got to start a business. Build that business. Take that money. Start another business. Or Airbnb, or Toro business, or or whatever, right? Whatever that can create income, whether you show up or not. The simplest, easiest, most affordable way for the average person is network marketing. That's why I love it. it, 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 it. Trust me, I own traditional businesses, folks. It ain't, it ain't costing me nine ninety five a month to run and operate that business. <laughs> Some of y'all traditional brick and mortar, brick and mortar, right? Let me turn the camera around real quick. Let me, let me, let me turn the camera around right quick, y'all. I ain't bullshitting out here, man. Ain't nobody playing with y'all. Brick and mortar businesses, buildings, fuck with buildings and cars and trucks and box trucks and shit and, and warehouse full of shit, right? 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 This shit ain't costing nine ninety five a fucking month. Look at that box truck, brand new goddamn box truck right there. That shit ain't costing nine ninety five a month. Look, look, box truck game in the building, man. Look, folks, look, 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 man. Traditional business don't cost no fucking nine ninety five a month. But you know what's crazy? I got even more better tax benefits having the home based business. 
than a traditional goddamn business dude. I'm taking y'all air to school this morning. It don't cost $9.95 to start a traditional business. But this is another stream of income. So folks, have I preached enough this morning? If you got value today, type the number eight for me. I would appreciate that. I know I, know I went off on a tangent. I know I stepped on some toes. I know it's been a long time since I went live like this and went in on some of y'all ass. But it's all good, it's all good. Listen, <laughs> listen, listen. Good morning, good morning, Sherelle. Let me check out some of these comments real quick. <laughs> so if you got value, type the number eight for me real quick. I, I gotta run in here, man, and, and, and get these guys going, man. And uh, go serve some clients and sit today, man. You know, I love what I do, man. I love what I do. I love what I do, man. I absolutely love what I do, man. I'm always out in the, in the public with the people. Always putting the people on. You don't understand what I'm saying? I'm looking at one, one, two, four people out here that I've trained personally. They fucking love what they do. <laughs> and they get paid every day. Again, that's a whole nother conversation. That's a whole nother business. They ain't got nothing to do with MLM. But I'm just saying, the really shit you can do for people is put them on, man. Put them on. And how some of you... The reason why some of you don't have success in this in our in our business is because you're too goddamn selfish, man. You're too fucking selfish. Selfish and you don't believe in yourself. And that's a problem, guys. We got to do better than that. We got to do better than that. So if you're looking to grow you as a person, if you're looking to grow your health, if you're looking to grow your finances, you need to get with your boy ASAP. Listen, this ain't the business opportunity where you can say, you know what, I'm going to wait till next Friday. Man, the people that tell me that shit, I be like, man, you don't even get it. You have no fucking... And I understand everybody ain't financially strapped like that. But again, that should tell you something. If you ain't got $50 to start a business to put you in a better situation for you to never have to say that again, how does, first of all, how does that make you feel? Oh, wait. How does it make you feel for you to have to say, I ain't got $50? Grown ass woman, grown ass man, you in your 20s and 30s and 40s and 40s and 50s, you ain't got $50 to start a business? Woo, man. And maybe that's just a uh, deflection that, you know, that tells us no. Listen, be honest, just tell us no. No, that ain't for me, bro. That's why I always ask people, is this to see if it's a good fit for you? Not... Join me right now, goddamn it, you gotta know. See if it's a good fit. Look at the Ben video and see if it's a good fit. If one of my reps, if one of my team members have shared this video on their timeline with their link at the top and the bottom, watch the damn video. Oh my God. <laughs> How the hell do you think 250,000 people done joined us in the past five, four, four, five months? Because of the Ben video. Some of y'all ain't watched it yet. It's five minutes and 55 seconds long. Five, five, five. That's a clue right there. That's a spiritual clue. The guy got his hands on this company, man. People are being blessed beyond measure. And again, I ain't had this much fun in 21 years in network marketing, right? So it, it's, it's been a blessing, man. It's been a fucking blessing. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> yes sir fuck their toes i know right well if i step it on toes man fuck your toes say i to get over it do better right do better because again i'm one of them leaders i'm gonna challenge your ass i'm gonna push you i i don't even want to hear all that bullshit i don't want to hear any excuses i have literally sponsored some people that have not sponsored anybody in this business yet i uh for the life of me i don't understand it i don't get it but it's okay. We love you. We still love you. Listen, we love everybody and live good, man. I get the 27%, the 19 and the 3%. I understand the numbers, the people, the personality traits, the color codes, all that. I get it. I'm a, I'm a beast in this, in this game. I've been taught by the best and some of the best of the best, man. 
You understand what I'm saying? So listen, the moment, years ago, it took me a while, but the years ago, once I moved, once I removed, this is going to help some of you guys out there in network marketing and direct sales. Once I removed my emotions from their decisions, that's when I became a beast. Let me repeat what I just said. Once I removed my emotions, meaning I don't give a fuck whether you join or not. I did my job. I showed you the information. You understand? It don't, cause I used to, I used to, I used to hold that. I used to wear that. I used to own that. When they would say no, I used to own that. I'd be like, Ugh. I, I, I used to take this shit personal. Like they weren't saying no to me. They were saying no to the opportunity. And that's, and if they say no to the opportunity, James, why the fuck you get mad? Why you getting all in your feelings and emotions and shit? Fucking your day all up. Fuck them folks. You gave them the information. You did your job. Changed everything for me. <laughs> Woo! Literally changed everything for me. Once I removed my emotions from their decisions. It's their decision, James. And you can't make nobody do nothing. You can't convince nobody to join. You can't convince nobody to, to, to get plugged in. You can't convince nobody to get ranked up. Like, that's on them. Once I removed my emotions from their decisions, that's when I became a beast. That's why I rank up in every fucking thing I touch. That's why when we hit diamond, oh yeah, <laughs> it's going to be a diamond party, man. 21 diamonds already done been popped in five months. And the fact that I've had to start over from scratch, I absolutely fucking love it. I ain't bring no whole squad of folk over here. No, I'm building one person at a time. And so if you're watching this and you're not in Live Good yet, you're not in my business yet, do you realize the positioning that you could have right now when you join me in business? I'm finna crank this thing all the way up now, man. The proof is in the pudding. We got the numbers. We got the proof of the products working. We got testimonials out the ass. Oh, it's just cheap ass products. Really? Really? You don't know Ben. You don't fucking know Ben the way I know Ben. You think Ben gonna put some cheap ass shit in the products? <laughs> you fucking stupid. You goddamn stupid. You super stupid. Super fucking stupid. If you think because our prices are affordable that they cheap. Woo. Somebody just got a lesson right there. <laughs> it's the difference between being cheap and affordable, okay? Yeah, man. We got this shit on lock. We got the we got the industry in the in the chokehold right now. For real. Do y'all know that there are leaders? Do y'all know that there are events happening right now in other companies and leaders are having roundtable discussions about Live Good? They at their event, but they talking about Live Good. <laughs> I'm watching leaders have emotional breakdowns on their lives and shit, right? Because they hate no Live Good. <laughs> so literally, what Ben has done is literally disrupt it is is this disrupting the industry and we're the pioneers of the disruption what better person to be a part of it than a nigga like me excuse my language yeah man i love being the underdog i come out winning every every fucking time i come out winning because i choose to win because i decide to win and i move forward like i'm winning and guess what happens the manifestation just shows up so whatever you want in life guys first of all you got to see it if you can see it please please write it down write it down do things today do things every single day that is conducive to what you say you want what you have written down just keep the goddamn appointment boo boo Keep the appointment. Many of you don't keep the appointment. You always start, but you never finish. Keep the appointment. I, listen, the success that I've had and demonstrated on social media, you know what it's for? Just to show y'all what's possible, man. Just to give you hope, man. I'm an ex-convict. Ex-convict. Ten years, eight months, prison came out determined and the guy y'all see today is the guy I have become have been willing to become working on me personal development associations picking up a book reading it applying it 
It's no secret to success, guys. You just got to know what you want in this life. And you just got to go deliberately, intentionally, you got to go fucking get it. And cut all your motherfucking lame ass, bullshit ass, pussy ass, short yellow bus riding ass excuses out. Cut that bullshit out, man. Grown ass people be telling me, be cre creating fucking excuses. Oh my God, Jane, I couldn't get on the car because the dog bit bit my baby pinky toenail and, you know, and it came off and it did a backflip. Oh. <laughs> that's, that, that's the story y'all be telling me. They, some of y'all... <laughs> I don't believe you. I did a video a couple months ago about I don't believe you, right? When y'all be telling me that stupid shit. When you be giving me these bullshit ass excuses. Because see, every time, listen, and I'm, I'm, I'm done after this. Every excuse I've heard from, from y'all, there's been a, that's been a reason for other people that have won in this industry. Let me say that again. Every fucking, I'm talking about no exaggeration. Every excuse I've heard from you guys, every excuse I've seen in work with people use that excuse as a reason. Oh, James, I got five kids. I just ain't got the time. Right? The other person, James, I got five kids. I ain't got the damn time. I got to do this shit. I don't want to continue to have not have the time. See the difference? See the difference? It's your fucking mindset. It's your thinking, motherfucking stinking. Stinking, motherfucking thinking. That, I say that backwards. I say that backwards. I did that. I did say that backwards. It's your stinking ass thinking, right? It's your stinking, motherfucking thinking that has you right where you are. In fact, in fact, your best thinking has you right where you are, right? Whatever your situation is right now in life. Look, go look at your bank account right now. Look at your life right now. Your best thinking has you right there where you are right now. Woo! And if you don't like that situation where you're in right now, then just change your stinking thinking, boo-boo. Get off this short yellow bus, 2023 social media folk. Because y'all being distracted in a major way. You ain't ready for what the government got for y'all. Watch the news. Watch what happens in the OF, OFMC bar, uh, meeting today. Fed, the Fed, the Fed, right? Watch what they do today. Watch. 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 Y'all ain't ready, man. Americans are not ready. Your United States dollar? Remember me warning y'all about that shit? Remember I was talking about that in 2017? And many of you were like, oh, Jane, you sound like you've been smoking some crack. You're like, you crazy. That ain't gonna happen. Crypto, oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> How I sound now? <laughs> How I sound now? And it's not to do that in that spirit. Nah, 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 nah. No, that's not me. That's not my heart. It's not my heart to rock. That shit is serious. Because I guarantee, when, if, they sh if they turn off the monetary system on y'all ass, that ain't going to be a pretty sight. Remember the last tip I told you? Get you, get you access to a chopper? You might have to get the fuck up out of here. It's going to get serious, man. It's going to get ugly in America. They're purposely devaluing the dollar. How the fuck... How, how... How do you even have a debt ceiling when you have the ability to print trillions of damn dollars? That's the reason why we got inflation right now. Because you printed trillions of goddamn dollars the past two years and gave all these folk free-ass money. But you weren't expecting inflation to happen? So now they're talking about, well, we're going to have to default on the debt ceiling. And if they default on the debt ceiling, oh, my God, the dollar is going to crash. And, oh, people are going to be hurting. <laughs> what, what, have I, what have I told? What have I encouraged? I can't tell you nothing. I'm not a financial advisor. What have I encouraged you guys to do with your wealth, with your money? What did I tell y'all? Get your money out of these fucking banks. Didn't I tell you that? Look, 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 look what's been happening. Oh, James, they go, James, they're profiting again. James, how, how did you? Don't worry about all that. I'm not trying to be right. I care about my fucking people. I don't want to see nobody get caught up in this bullshit out here. But some of y'all going to get caught up in the bullshit because you so fucking social media 2023. Oh, my God, I got to, you know, pictures with captions and shit all the fucking time. Broke as hell. Broke, struggling. 
Because you want to be seen. Unfucking believable, man. I, I, it, this social media era that we're in is. It's just strange to watch. You know what I'm saying? I'm saying, you know, if you if you're not sharing value on social media, I'm like, why the fuck are you on here? You know, like, just to just to just to show your ass, just to just to bounce it, turn around and, and what y'all call it, twerking, whatever. Anyway, listen, I love you guys, man. This is my official out of retirement video. This is my official uh, uh, congratulations to the team, man. You know, building a new team, unbelievable, man. I, I you know. Unfucking believable. I love it. I love it. And I just want to say thanks to many of you that have trusted me, right? Join me in business. And I'm thinking that you're 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 appreciating that right now. Because I hear it from you guys. So I appreciate you. Right? So if you've reached out to me and said thank you, I want to say thank you for joining me and trusting me, right? Because this is what this is all about. It's about trust. It's about building relationships. It's about going somewhere. That your job is is not doesn't have the ability to take you guys. So, MLM is an option. Okay. So for those of you out there that look at MLM like, uh, keep looking at it like that. You're gonna be one of the main motherfucking ones, wishing, hoping, praying that you would have that you that you you know hope wishing that you could have gotten that you should have did what you should have did. Praying that God find, you know sends you something. And all the time it's showing up right in your faces, but you don't see it. Because again, it ain't, it ain't in the form of a job application or interview or some shit like that. So anyway, love you guys, man. I'll talk to y'all soon. Again, if you got value, type the number eight below. If it went on long, I ain't apologizing. Fuck that. Somebody needed to hear this shit this morning. Straight up. Okay? And so, listen, if you join me in business, I need you to have three things. Three things. And I promise you I'm done. If you don't have these three things, I'm not fucking working with you. I'm not. I'm not going to waste my time. I'm at a point in my life and I ain't don't need this. I don't need this shit. They ain't got to have it. I ain't, I'm not building from that space anymore. I'm not building from a space. Oh, I got to get this money. No. <laughs> it's, it's a lot fun now. I'm laid back. But listen, you need three fucking things to work with me. Me. Don't join me. If you don't possess these three things, please go join somebody else. One, you need a burning desire to change the situation. You got that? Two, you need to be coachable. Are you willing to do that? Number three, you need to be willing to work, man. Same effort, same commitment you give your job that's keeping you stuck. How y'all commit to some shit that keep you stuck? I don't know, but that's a whole other conversation. The same commitment. You, you show up for work, whether you feel like it or not. Snowing, raining, don't matter. Tornado, weather, don't fucking matter. You show up. Why? Because they tell your ass to show up. But soon as you get into a voluntary army, you don't want to show up. You want to create excuses and shit. That's you. Do not fucking join me in business coachable, willing to work, have a burning desire to change your life. Love you guys. It's your boy James R. Davis. See y'all check out some of these comments later. We got to go serve our clients. Big business, big things are happening right now, man. I don't televise my life like that, right? You know, no. I share value. I come on social media to share value, not snippets of my life. I know y'all want that shit and all that, you know, and you think a nigga ain't doing, ain't moving, ain't making moves in life, he ain't showing on doing all that. Some of you niggas are stupid. <laughs> Some of you niggas are stupid. Some of y'all hustling to be seen. I ain't never been a hustling motherfucker to trying to be seen. Fuck that shit. I'm a background type dude, man. You know, I like to put other people on and watch them shine, man. That's what I like. I love that shit. I love it with a passion. Man. You owe you, man. Go get it. Love y'all. Talk to y'all soon.